tutorial, I will be showing you how you can find the probability of you retrieving all the real pearls from a bag of fake and real pearls. Given a limited number of pearls, you can randomly take from the bag. And I will be showing you how you can use Python to easily find the answer, and how you can use Python to simulate that scenario. Over here, imagine that there are sixty fake pearls in a bag. You accidentally dropped your three genuine pearls into that bag. If you randomly take twenty-five pearls from the bag, what is the probability that you will take all of your pearls out of that bag? To find the answer, we first have a look at combinations. The combination is over here. We have two numbers here. I substitute variables. The first variable will be. The total amount we pick each time, and the bottom number will be the total number of objects we can pick from. This will be the total amount of different ways we can pick k items from n items. So, like if k is one and n is three, we can say this is the total amount of ways we can pick one marble from three marbles. So the answer is obviously three. First, we have a look at this picture here, or this presentation. This is n. N is the total amount of marbles there is. K will be the total amount we pick. If there are zero marbles, what? How many ways can we pick zero items from zero marbles? So if I label these, this will be k zero. And here, this will be z over here. K will equal to zero. K will be one. Here, k is zero. K is one. K is two. You can see here. So here, k can only be zero, and there is only one way we can pick k. We can pick zero items from zero items. Now, what if there is one item? This will be the total amount of ways we can pick zero items from one item. And here is the total amount of ways we can pick one item from one item. Here we have two items. This is the total different amount of ways we can pick zero items from two items. This is the total amount of different ways we can pick two items from two. I mean one item from two items. Here is the total amount of ways we can pick two items from two items. You can see that here is a pattern. If we have one of these rows, we can find the next row by simply this plus this. Wait, first we have this. We put it in the beginning. The this number plus the number next to it will go to this side, and then this number plus the number next to it will go here. Finally, this number plus the number next to it, which is nothing, will go here. Same goes for this. This. First, we have here nothing plus this equals this. This plus this equals this. This plus this equals this. This plus this equals this, and this plus nothing equals to this. So this actually equals to the combination of k minus one. Here we pick k minus one items from n minus one items plus this, and If you want the general formula, it's this. Now, if there are f fake pearls and r genuine pearls, you randomly take x pearls from a bag. The probability will be this over this. So it's the total amount of different ways you can pick. Here we have the number of fake. I mean, here we have. Let's see. The number of extra pearls we take, like there are only three real pearls, we take five times, so we have two here. Here we have the total amount of fake pearls. Here we have the total amount of different ways we can choose 
x pearls from the total amount of pearls in the bag. We substitute the numbers in. We get the the probability of you getting all of your real pearls is 5.8 percent. Now let's have a look at our Python program. From math, I import factorial as f. So here I store factorial in this variable. I want to define the combination function. Here I here we have in, here we have r. So these are just random variables. I'll return the factorial of in. Let's see. And divide by factorial of r. Divide by the factorial of n minus r. So this is actually the same as this. And in our in our presentation there we have k. So let's just change this to a k. Let's see. Now Here's the total amount of fake pearls. Here's the total amount of real pearls we dropped in. Here's the total amount we randomly take from the bag. So we have that formula. It's the combination of this divided by the combination of this. Finally, we print. You have this percent probability of picking all of your pearls. Here I format our result times a hundred, since the percent will be times a hundred. Here I have the total amount of real pearls, which goes in here. Let me run this. You have 5.7981% probability of picking all three of your pearls. Now let's change the numbers a bit. What if we have there are 100? There are 130 fake pearls. We accidentally dropped in eight real pearls, and we take 120. Let's see what the probability will be now. Here we have 31.76 probability of picking all eight of your pearls. Now let's see. Since this is this is a theoretical answer. So in real life, it's not always, we don't always get the exact result. It's the probability. So let's see how we can simulate that scenario. Let me first run this. Press enter to pick a pearl. Here, I got a fake pearl. We They tell us I have one fake pearl, zero real pearls, so far, I picked one time. Let me pick again. Here, I picked another fake pearl. So I'll just keep on picking until we run out of pearls. You can see I already picked all three of my real pearls. Here, all pearls are, ta all pearls are taken. Now let's see how we can create this. First, I import random. Then I define this variable, which will be the total amount of fake pearls. This will be the total amount of real pearls we dropped in. I need the bag, and I'll say the bag is a list. Here is the total amount taken so far. I mean, the total amount of times we take so far. Here's the total amount of fake pearls we have so far. And here's the total amount of real pearls we have so far. For every number in range f, bag dot append fake pearl. So for every number in 30, I want to add a fake pearl to our bag. Now I want to add a real pearl to our bag for every number in range 3. Now in this list I will have 30 fake pearls and 3 real pearls. But in the bag there are ranged here. So we have 30 real pearls, and in the end we have 3, I mean we have 30 fake pearls, and in the end we have 3 real pearls. Well, the length of bag is greater than 0, so this means 
Wow, our bag is not empty yet. We let the user press enter here. T equals random dot random zero the length of bag minus one. This means that T will give us a random integer from zero to the total amount of objects in the bag minus one. Now, since I pressed enter, we already took a pearl one time, so t t plus equals to one. If bag here has the index, so here I basically want a random index from our list. If bag equals fake pearl, our fake pearls taken plus equals to one. Else, our real pearl taken plus equals to one. Then. I will bag dot pop t. So after I took, so after I took the t index of the bag, I want to remove that t index from the bag. Here I print. I have got this. Here you can see the rest of them. Finally, when the length of bag is equal to zero, we come out of this for loop and we print all pearls taken. So let's just quickly change this a bit. What if we have 25 fake pearls? We dropped in six real pearls. Now let's run this. Here, I'll press enter. Enter, 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 enter. All I want to take all my pearls. Finally, all pearls are taken. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment sections below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called Nets Edu. Today is February fifth, two thousand twenty. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video.